Tonight, a Larry Barker investigation with an unusual twist. The subject, UNM's athletic department. It's not about golf trips to Scotland, and it's not about misuse of credit cards. In fact, it's a ghost story of sorts. Here's Larry's investigation, the case of the Phantom fans. We're not trying to be dishonest. There's no secrets here. I want our fans to understand that we have to earn back their trust. Some may call it fuzzy math, UNM style. Others may see it as blatant misrepresentation. But however you look at it, the fact remains, they're telling tall tales in Lobo land. For example, take a look at last year's men's basketball game against Utah State. According to UNM, Lobo players battled the Utah Aggies before a reported crowd of more than 10,000 fans. 10,000? Really? Well, no, not even close. You see, the actual number of fans attending the game was inflated by more than 100%. Documents show UNM's official count included some 5,700 Phantom fans who never went to the game. A News 13 investigation finds UNM's athletic department routinely exaggerates attendance at the pit. At last year's San Diego State game, the announced attendance included 4,300 spectators who weren't there. The athletic department overstated the number of fans attending the Aztec Warrior game by 45%. When the Lobos took on the Nevada Wolfpack last year, UNM distorted attendance figures by more than 100% when it counted 5,700 fans who were nowhere to be seen. Announced attendance at women's basketball games are also routinely inflated. When the Lady Lobos took on the UTEP Miners last season, the athletic department counted 3,000 ghost fans exaggerating attendance by 217 percent. And when the women's team played Boise State last year, UNM added 3,000 absent spectators to its official tally and overstated game attendance by 200 percent. Official NCAA reported attendance at men's and women's basketball games last season included a total of 116,000 phantom fans. How do we know? Well, UNM scans the tickets held by every spectator entering the pit. UNM knows exactly how many fans are in the stands. For example, at last season's Boise State game, UNM scanned tickets for 6,500 spectators. However, UNM said the official attendance was 11,000. Why the disparity? Well, when the athletic department computes attendance, it doesn't just count the tickets sold at the box office. The university adds event staff, security guards, concession workers, players, coaches, the band, cheerleaders, as well as all season ticket holders, whether or not they attend the game. That's how other college programs do it. And that's why 4,600 fans who did not attend last year's Boise State game were included in the official tally. Athletic Director Eddie Nunez says the university follows NCAA rules when counting attendance. Announced attendance encompasses not just scan tickets of individuals that are scanned, um, encompasses the band, cheerleaders, um, media workers that are encompassing that number, also individuals that have purchased tickets um, that didn't show up. Is it right? I don't think they were trying to mislead anybody. I think they were following suit, uh, but I think it, it is something that we need to look at. You know exactly how many people went through the door at the pit. Mm -hmm. Why don't you report that number? We can do that. If, that, if, that's what, if, if that's what we have to do moving forward so we can earn our trust with our fans, um, we will do so. We're trying to follow the protocol within the NCAA. And the basketball arena is not the only venue that uses inflated attendance figures. At the football stadium, they don't scan tickets and they don't count spectators. 
So they have no way of knowing how many spectators actually attend football games. At best, it's an educated guess. So when the Lobos hosted the UNLV Running Rebels in November for the final home game of the season, UNM added up all the season tickets, box office sales, concession workers, staff members, and came up with an educated guess of 14,744 spectators. Hmm. At halftime, there were more people on the field than there were in the stands. Do you understand how some fans can look at the disparity in these numbers and say, ah, there's the UNM Athletic Department once again trying to deceive us? Yeah, th that hurts me. Since the day I got here, I've been saying, we're going to do things differently because how things were done in the past doesn't mean that's how we're going to be doing things in the future. I want our fans to understand that we have to earn back their trust. For whatever reason, we lost it throughout the years. That's my focus. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. You can find attendance summaries for Lobo women's basketball and Lobo men's basketball on our KRQE app.